I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal Magazine. In a recent issue, we made a bookshelf that hangs on the wall. Now, when you hang a bookshelf on the wall, you don't want the books falling off. So our bookends are secured to the bookshelf by means of a dovetailed groove with a dovetailed slider. Now, in order to make the dovetail slider flush to the surface of the bookshelf, we had to cut a notch out. Now, you could do that with a bandsaw, be easy enough, but we chose to use a Japanese back saw. Let me show you how we make the cut. It's just a couple of slices and you're done. Now to start this off, I ripped a piece of uh, walnut from some scrap I had that's longer than it, the two combined sliders put together. So I'm going to get both sliders out of this one piece. Then I angle cut the sides to match the dovetail groove that we put in the bookcase so that it slides in there easily and it can't come out. Then I marked the length of how long I want this notch to be. So when I'm cutting with the Japanese saw, I'm only going to cut to this length. Now the last thing I need to mark up is to set the depth of the cut or the level of it. And the easiest way to do that is to uh, put it into the groove and then just draw the line. Now I'm using a white pencil because that works way better on walnut than black pencils do. So you do that and you mark both sides and now you are ready to cut. First thing you do is set the length of your cut. Now we've already marked that here. I'm going to use my finger to locate this, the saw blade. Now as with dovetails we're going to leave this mark. We're going to leave the layout line and I'm going to start the cut. If you've never used a Japanese back saw they cut on the pull, which I find to be slightly more accurate, or easier to start actually. I'm going to cut to the depth using the marking lines on both sides to control the depth of the cut. And there you go. Now we're going to cut the length of the notch. Now you can see I've secured it in a bench vise because that's going to help me control the cut. It's the same technique, just a longer cut. And I'm going to get started and let the saw do the work. Line up both edges of the cut to the marks that you've made. With the notches cut, I slide the stock back into the bookshelf and I'm going to, with the final step, I'm going to level the, uh, the notch to the surface of the bookshelf. With these surfaces sanded level, the last thing I have to do is cut the sliders to length and then mount them to a bookend. That's it. I hope you found this technique useful. I'm Rob Johnstone for Woodworkers Journal. Keep on making sawdust.